Have any of your Thanksgivings been half ass? Let's talk about mom life without overindulging, which I know sounds totally impossible. I'm Allison, the Healthy Mom Coach, and I help moms break free from overindulging and unhealthy habits as a way to deal with daily stress and anxiety. My substance of choice was alcohol. What the heck do I mean by having a half ass Thanksgiving? I'm talking about one that you are not being fully present or putting the maximum effort you can be putting into it to get the most enjoyment and personal fulfillment out of your holiday. Being lucky if you can remember even half of the conversations that you had with your loved ones. What held me back from doing that for years? My overindulging on alcohol every single Thanksgiving since I turned 21. And that's a lot of Thanksgivings. Society has created the belief that it is necessary to have alcohol at holiday festivities. Of course it's necessary, right? How else will we have fun and really enjoy our holiday? Let's be clear. Alcohol numbs your senses, makes you not fully present in any situation, and causes you to not remember and create memories. How will that make your holiday more enjoyable when you're not putting the effort into yourself or your loved ones by doing something intentional to allow your brain to slow down and not focusing on the people and important things that are going on around you. Let me share a little bit about my experience with alcohol and Thanksgiving. What did hosting Thanksgiving look like before I made the change to change my lifestyle to no longer drink alcohol? Well, I would start pouring the red wine even before my guests would arrive. I felt like the entire day was a whirlwind, not remembering half of the conversations I had with my loved ones, not allowing memories to stick in my brain. I broke numerous wine glasses over the years and at times even shedding blood. I overcooked my famous Brussels sprout side dish. Nobody ate it. What a waste. I overcooked the turkey and you can only imagine what my dad thought about that. One year, I even forgot to put the cranberry sauce on the table. So I had a lot of leftover cranberry sauce that year. And I left my kitchen a mess and went to bed since I was too tired and drunk to clean it up. And cleaning it up the next morning with a hangover was not fun. I felt terrible the next day, filled with guilt and shame because I drank way too much and thought about how much I missed out on. I would try really hard to remember if I said anything inappropriate or stupid to upset any of my family members. My old method totally sank my spirit. What have my last three Thanksgivings that I have hosted look like? I've had meaningful, connected conversations with the ones I love that I remember. I've been enjoying the process of preparing and serving my guests. And I've expanded my Thanksgiving menu for my family and I'm having fun with cooking. I have not ruined anything that I've made. I warm heartedly watch my sons have fun and create memories with their cousins, observing them having pure, clean fun with no alcohol necessary. It makes me realize that adults really can learn a lot from kids. I go to bed with a clean kitchen, peace and joy in my head from the time and the experience that I had with my family and I wake up the next day free of shame and guilt on how my holiday went. Instead, I feel full of energy with time to do what I want to do instead of spending time having to clean up and be lazy all day nursing my hangover. If you can resonate with any of this, what would your Thanksgiving look like if you decided to experiment and try a different approach? Perhaps an alcohol-free mocktail instead of indulging in your favorite wine? Or try some kombucha. There are some great flavors available my favorite being gingerberry, and I love the simple seltzer, cranberry, and lime drink. That's my go-to. How do you think having a clear and present mind would serve you on this holiday? If you want help with this or want to learn more about my coaching, check out my website at thehealthymomcoach.com where you can book a free breakthrough session. I'll be back next week with another video, and in the meantime, enjoy your Thanksgiving.